this week for the culture has been in shambles. My people, I don't know what's going on, but everything is going down this week. So I just want to, I had to come in here and talk to y'all about what's been going on. It's me again, y'all. Your girl, Shy Gemini. I hope you all have been having a great week so far. Um, it's almost Friday. Thank God I'm over it. But anyway, I just want to come in here and talk to y'all. I had to make me a shot of some Smirnoff with some grenadine because I don't have no juice right now. <laughs> so by any means necessary, you know. But anyway, I want to come in here and talk about the things that have been happening this week. And it has been a pure shit show, okay? So first of all, let's talk about the news that broke today. Bill Cosby, our beloved Bill Cosby, Heathcliff Huxtable, has been found guilty of three counts um, of sexual, what was it? But basically drugging women and having sex without their consent, okay? Um, they found him guilty, so now he is looking to serve 30 years, 10 years for each count. It was three counts, so 10 years for each one, 30 years. Um, they wanted to cry him off to jail tonight. <laughs> they, they were over it, like, you, you can go tonight. So he can stay out on bail until they have his sentencing, so it's like... Damn, y'all, Bill Cosby, like, this man is legend. Fat Albert, The Cosby Show, all of the movies he's done with Sidney Poitier, the stand-up comedy, like, all that stuff right now amounts to a hill of beans. His legacy is forever tarnished. People will never look at him the same, and it's very sad and unfortunate. But if you've done something like this, then, you gotta pay the piper. Unfortunately, you gotta pay the piper. Um, you know, I wonder how many other people are gonna get just to, you know, uh, who's gonna have to pay for their sins. Um, is Harvey Weinstein gonna pay for his sins? He did a lot of bogus stuff. I remember, y'all remember when the, father, the guy who played the father on Seventh Heaven admitted that he has had sexual, inappropriate sexual, uh, relationships with underage girls and they had took the rate the reruns off of um, Seventh Heaven for a while because it was confirmed he was a pedophile but no charges were filed against him you have somebody in the White House right now that admits to grabbing people by the kitty cat and you know women have come out against him so are there gonna be others to follow um, I hate to say it, it's like the first person to really play is the black pay is the black man. Um, and I'm not saying he shouldn't pay for what he's done, but God damn, like 30 years. Bill Cosby is already 80 years old. So basically you could say if he actually gets sentenced for 30 years or 10 years or maybe even five years, that's his life. He's done. I don't see him lasting in jail to be honest and i hate to say that but i just don't see it i don't see it so we don't see if he actually gets sentenced or if he's going to be on probation but i feel like in this era of the me too's like they're gonna really start making these people pay for the things that they've done in their past their their past is going to come back to to hunt them speaking of the me too movement r kelly Chicago, hometown, legend, king, whatever. Not so much these days, but Tom Joyner said that he will no longer be playing any of R. Kelly's music on his radio station because of the things that he has been accused of. And it's like, now you guys wanna make him pay for the things that he's been doing. And the thing is, there was proof that he's been doing this stuff for years, so I guess it took the Me Too movement to really get people to start jumping on the bandwagon, okay, and realize R. Kelly ain't shit. And you know, it took me also a while too, because when you think about R. Kelly, you always think about the hits that he made, 
the music of the different artists and you kind of looked away but honestly we shouldn't be looking away from R. Kelly. R. Kelly has a huge issue. He needs help and it's time. It's time. So Tom joined and said he ain't playing his music no more. So I wonder what they're going to do when they on his uh his cruises <laughs> as you know black folks love to step in the name of love so <laughs> what they gonna play to, in replace of that you know i guess frankie beverly and Maze they can play before i let you go and they can step off of that but ain't no stepping in the name of love on the top join the crew <laughs> so <laughs> hey he gotta pay yeah. news coming from the shy our beloved Kanye West. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. I don't know what's going on, but my brother. <laughs> Wake up, Mr. West! <laughs> Kanye, what is going on? Kanye has been tweeting lately and He's just been expressing him, himself. Now, I actually had to go back and look at the tweets that he posted. And honestly, I'm gonna say it and I hope people don't get mad at me. The tweets that he posted weren't really all that bad. Um, some things that he was saying about love and letting people know that you love them and being able to speak your mind and stuff like that stuff is true. The issue comes with the support of Trump. Now, this is what I don't like about how people are treating him right now. Kanye has the right to believe in whoever he wants to believe in. Everybody uh, is not gonna think on the same brain wave, the same, you know, we all don't think the same. So I'm not mad at him about that. It's just the fact that we all know what Donald Trump stands for and he's not about uh, bridging the gap in equality and, uh, you know, just some of his rhetoric and things that he spoke of, it's just not good for the culture. And for him to come out of support of him, I can see why people would be alarmed and upset. But again, at the same time, Kanye has the right to express himself in any way that he wants, and he has the right to go for whoever he wants to. Honestly, I feel like this is a publicity stunt. Kanye has been promoting his trash ass homeless couture clothes. <laughs> he's promoting the fact that he's producing the album, I think for Nas. Tiana Taylor, which I love her music, by the way. Like, if you haven't listened to Tiana Taylor, she actually can sing, okay? But that's not what we're talking about. And his own album. So, I feel like Kanye knows what he's doing. He knows that he's riling people up. Like he said in uh, his song, it gets the people going. It's provocative, you know? <laughs> like, he's true to what he does like he's trying to get everybody riled up and we're all falling for it so if to me it's great marketing strategy you get people talking about you and then they're gonna definitely want to hear what you're putting out because for you to be talking this crazy you got to be talking about something on their songs and the music so let's see what Kanye's talking about brilliant but a lot of people have unfollowed him Nine million to be exact. <laughs> so, hey. And Chance tweeted in support of him because one of the DJs asked him, had he talked to him? And he said, yeah. And, you know, people are talking about Kanye's crazy, but he's fine. I just talked to him. He's doing okay. He doesn't just doesn't care what people think. Chance tweeted out, blacks don't have to be Democrats. And, I mean, it's true. We don't have to be Democrats just because we're black. But I feel like Chance should definitely sit this one out <laughs> because they're ready to come for his neck and bring to light to people that even though he claims he's an independent artist, he's really not independent and he's actually signed by Apple. But that's neither here nor there. He says Kanye is not crazy. So hey, 
whatever. So John Legend reaches out to Kanye and texts him about, you know, maybe you shouldn't come out in support of this Trump person. Think about your fans. You inspire your fans and it might not be a good look. So he, what does he do? He shares the tweet, the text with Twitter. <laughs> I'm like, damn. So I felt like that was kind of weird. Like, why would you do that to your friend Kanye? That was a personal conversation. You shouldn't have shared that with everybody. And I think John was just coming out of love. And judging from the response afterwards, when John saw that he shared his text, you know, they had a little light heart laugh about it. He said, while you sharing text, let them know that I got a single coming out. So cool. I hope their friendship stays intact because nobody right now wants to mess with Kanye. Um, you know, Jay-Z is really staying as far away from him as he possibly can now. And Beyonce. <laughs> oh, and he also said that Barack didn't do anything for Chicago while he was in uh, office. And you know, you cannot say nothing bad about Barack Obama, so they let him have it. They've been drag dragging him from sun up to sundown. So, <laughs> Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. And the thing is, everybody's voicing their opinions and getting mad and probably adding him. And the, the gag is, Kanye really does not care. If you know him, if you're a fan, he doesn't care. So, your think pieces and all that stuff is really not gonna, I'm sorry, it's gonna kind of go on deaf ears. Um, I only, honestly, I only think the person that can get to him is Jay-Z. They can talk to him and really, you know, be sensible is Jay-Z. But they're not talking, so. It's just crazy that Kanye is at this point and everybody's been talking about, you know, he's in the sunken place and I think it's all for publicity, so. Kanye, George doesn't care about black people, Wes. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> all right, more stuff. So, so Khalees did an interview with Hollywood Unlocked. And it was that guy, what's his name? Jason Lee that was on Love and Hip Hop. And she basically lets the world know that Nas is a piece of shit. He ain't shit, he ain't gonna never be shit. <laughs> so she's saying that during her marriage with Nas, he not only was cheating on her, he was physically abusive, mentally abusive, like he wasn't a good husband. And everybody's like, what? Like Nas? Nas seems so cool. And again, it's the same thing with Fabulous. Just because a person seems like they have a cool personality doesn't mean that they're a good person. So we all have to stop putting these people on pedestals when we really don't know them. But yeah, she said that. He was abusive and she she even said that she was at home in her Atlanta home and she had bruises all over her body. And I'm like, wow. And she talked about the fact that Nas used to get drunk and like blackout drunk and just go crazy. And she said now she gonna admit that she hit him too, but it was after the fact. And she also mentioned the fact that he hasn't always been a great dad. It, there would be times when, you know, he wouldn't come get him. He wouldn't follow the, I guess, the court order or whatever. And then one day he'll just show up and, you know, want to get the child when that's not a part of the order. And she said it was getting so bad that she wouldn't tell him, she wouldn't tell their son that he was coming to get him until he actually showed up. So I'm like, damn, now that's kind of messed up if that's true. This is all allegedly, by the way. But I'm like, that's messed up if, if that's true. That you, she has to do that with your son in order for you, you know, for him not to be disappointed. Like, that's messed up. So I wonder what's this gonna do with his reputation and his fan base. I feel like a lot of the dudes, especially the hood dudes, you know, they gonna still rock with him just like they did Fab. They're not gonna 
it's not gonna affect them. Um, I don't know the women, cause you know us women love knives, and it ain't necessarily for his lyrics. So, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how it's gonna affect him, but I hope they work it out. They're actually still going through a custody battle right now, so. I hope they can work it out for the kids' sake. It's not good to have two parents that are constantly bumping heads with each other. In the interview, I asked her, how do you feel about him, you know, seeing this? And she was like, well, he hates me already anyway, so <laughs> why not? <laughs> but y'all need to work that out, Kalisa and I. It's like, for real, work that out. So I'm gonna end this um, video on a lighter note. Meek Mill is free. Okay. <laughs> um, I really hope that, you know, things work out for him and he doesn't end back end up back in the system. Although the stuff that he was thrown in for as far as his parole violation were petty. We all know that the system watches our black men and They'll find any kind of way to put you back in the system. So maybe this time, let's try not, let's let's try to stay under the radar, okay? Like, <laughs> you know, maybe check your entourage, tell them don't be fighting so you don't get caught in the mix. Stay off of motorcycles or bikes or whatever you're on that you know you're not supposed to be on. Um, yeah, Meek Mill, I'm, I'm rooting for you, Meek Mill. Honestly, I am, so. Let's try to stay out of trouble. Um, they said now he's gonna be like an advocate for men who are wrongfully incarcerated or have had unfair um, sentences and stuff like that. So that's cool to help others. So kudos to him for that. Yeah, so stay out of trouble. Um, Janelle Monet has come out as pansexual. And I actually looked up with pansexual, what it means. And it's someone who they'll date, if they feel a connection with you, whether you're male, woman, transgender, they will date you. So she came out as pansexual. I've always had my theories and thoughts that Janelle Monet might have been gay or bisexual. So for her to be able to live in her truth then, Congratulations to you for coming out, being able to live in your truth, and I applaud you because some people can't do it. Um, pansexual, that's a new term to me. Again, I had to look it up, so <laughs> I honestly would have thought she was just gay or, again, bisexual, but I know they have different terms out now for different things, so whatever you are, Janelle Monet, congratulations to you. <laughs> so... She's living in her truth. I think she's dating that actress. I forget her name, but they've been hanging out a lot. And I think she's in her new video that's being premiered tonight. So kudos to you, Janelle. Live your life, girl. <laughs> and keep making that good music because your music is good. So, all right, y'all. Again, I just want to come in here and talk about what's going on. Because again, the culture is in shambles this week. Black people are not having a good week. <laughs> so, and I had to throw the Grand Wizard in for good measures because that's a hot topic now and I just want to talk about it. But yeah, hopefully we can get our shit together by next week. Everybody be back in formation. <laughs> and I don't know, <laughs> whatever it is, I just hope we can get it together, all right? <laughs> All right, y'all, I will talk to you all again soon. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I hope you don't, but it's your choice. <laughs> and I shall talk to you guys again soon, all right? <laughs>